Welcome back, everyone. A change in footwear from summer to winter may take a toll on your feet. And for those already experiencing pain, it's good to keep in mind what you can do for the new season. Joining us now in this sponsored segment is Kate Decker from Summit Foot and Ankle. Welcome, Kate. Hi, thank you for having me. Happy to have you. Now, I'm sure this covers quite a variety of issues, but foot and ankle pain, what is it that you see? We see everything. <laughs> it does cover a lot. So, I mean, you have your very basic stuff, like we're seeing people just for normal foot care, you know, it's the elderly and everything. But then we see a wide range of sports injuries and, you know, foot deformities. We see young children, um, ingrown toenails. I mean, yeah, a, a little bit of everything, wounds and stuff. And I'm going to jump right in. Yes. What do we give people who are suffering from mm -hmm. foot pain? And I can even think of my dad, who we were just talking about, cracked yep. feet in the winter. It's so dry yes. here. Yes. And I feel like anything I do, I just can't seem to help it along. Yes. Well, let's um, start with a few things we have out here, and then we can move on to that. So um, I think, you know, the one of our most basic, I know this is kind of a go-to every year for Christmas is get a slipper for somebody. But the big part of that is that we tell people with foot pain, wear your shoe inside. But I know so many of us don't want to bring all that stuff in our house. So if you get a family member a good slipper, I think that can be really helpful. You know, you're looking for something that their whole foot will fit in. You only want that shoe to roll right here um, as they walk through, you know, giving a lot of support looking for arch support in the middle of it, um, all of that can be really helpful. Um, so that's one um, gift. I know it's kind of a classic, but I think those are things to look for when you're doing that. You know what, though? I needed to hear that. <laughs> I was telling you both that my parents yeah. both have issues with feet, so mm -hmm. they can't take off their shoes. Yes. It's not comfortable for them. Yeah. But I never know what I should have them do when they come in. Do they do the, the shoe cover? But they need something that's just comfortable to yes, slip exactly. into. exactly, because if you can slip in and out, you can sit down on the couch and slip yeah. out. And then they slip and right they back in. And inside. You don't they track stay, in the outdoors. Yes, yes. exactly. <laughs> so um, another thing I had brought was this insert. Like this is a special one for the winter. You've got your wool on top, um, and underneath you've got the silver lining. It's similar to like those coats that you'd wrap or Okay, show flex again. So the inside, the ins yeah. <laughs> inside we've got the wool, uh -huh. um, so that's going to help keep you warm mm -hmm. um, and, and soft. On the back here, we've got that silver. It's very similar to if you've ever seen someone run a marathon and they, you know, then they throw that oh, yeah. coat on, it absorbs the heat. Um, so this is, I mean, this is very similar to just your normal arch support, but this is a nice one for the winter. So it can be thrown in a ski boot, can be thrown in for someone who like, you know, goes, um, you know, still hikes all winter it's long. It's so versatile. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, even Maybe your dog walker, you know, like it's just something as simple as that. And yes, Kate, so. moving on to the yes. snowshoe, the so ski boot. Our ski boot. So this is like kind of the big ticket item for us, um, a great gift. Um, this new, the reason I brought this one in, this is that new BOA system. I know it's the people have been talking about it a lot. Um, but you know, the really nice thing that this BOA system is for, is for the people who have that really high arch, who have that really prominent spot on the top of their foot, who complain about having to buckle um, this part of their ski boot. This thing twists and it gives you nice even coverage across the whole thing. So um, they're really raving about that for people who have that really uncomfortable foot to fit. I just went oh. to a ski shop um, yeah. yesterday and I did notice this. So it opens it up a little bit more. You can go both this. ways, but then when you tighten it, it's tightening. It tightens everything. It tightens oh. Oh, instead of the buckle that, here. Exactly. Oh, yes. okay. So when you have that like higher arch, it's just such a smooth um, feeling across. I'm them. telling but, you, feet are so <laughs> like strange. Well, they're cut, like they're so different. It is. And depending on that size of an arch, I mean, that totally changes yes. what you can wear. I feel yes. like I have a, high, a higher arch, mm -hmm. so I feel more comfortable a lot of the time in a heel. Isn't yeah. that weird? Yeah. And then when you yeah. go flat, it's it can be painful. Yeah, because it's just putting so much pressure What right do there. we do to prevent future problems? Um, just in general, I mean, a lot of these things, a lot of these are the same type of thing. You need to really kind of be in a shoe at all times. So wear a slipper inside, that can be helpful. Making sure you have plenty of room in that um, shoe box as well, um, up in here in the toes and stuff. Okay, Kate, so, this, yes, this is, is, the one this is going thing. to this be my gift about. for my dad. Yeah, okay, okay so, so here's a great stocking stuffer. Mm -hmm. It also is going to be really helpful because it takes care of your foot in the winter. Okay, so several times a week you get your pumice, and you pumice, um, you rub the heel, especially, you know, around the toes, wherever you have that dry skin. Even in the shower. Yes, and that's okay. actually when you want to do it because 
your skin's nice and soft. Okay. okay. And then and for me, then, I had foot surgery. Yes. So, you know, this this speaks to me, but also yeah. I cannot stand a dry cracked heel. Yes. Okay. And it's a, like, I call it the Utah heel, to be honest, because mm -hmm. you see it so much yep. here with Sorry, our dry weather. Sorry, I'm showing weather. my foot. <laughs> okay, right. so, so you got then, this lotion. This is your Rhea cream, okay? U-R-E-A. Um, you can get all kinds of different percents, but this type of lotion will help skin slough off better. So it hydrates and, I shouldn't, it's a cream. We shouldn't mm -hmm. call it a lotion. You don't want to use um, lotions on your feet. You want to do this right after you have showered when the pores are nice and okay. big, and then you're just going to rub it here on the back. Wait, Saray's so mm -hmm. like getting a pedicure. I, Live <laughs> on the <laughs> air. <laughs> All right, so rub that in. You could even go heavier than that if you want. Okay. And then these are some fancy little um, booties. They have silicone here on the inside. It's silky. Yes. So it's okay. going to trap in that moisture, um, mm -hmm. and then you just and should you sleep in over. there? Um, so I sometimes do. I like do it right after my evening shower and then like watch TV in them. Um, but these are great. If you don't want to spend the money on this, you can just take a baggie actually and cut both sides, pull it on, and then if you don't that. like your We're toes, we're talking about $10 though. Right. They are, they are 10. Thing for Honestly, 30 bucks. All three of these things is like a perfect $30 um, stocking stuff. Summit foot so. ankle you have yes. all across Utah. All across Check Utah. them out. You can yes. get these three things at your place or online. Online, yes. 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 Okay. So if you wanted to send it to someone who's not here, you could we do that. all need it though. Living in Utah, <laughs> you're so right. I'm just going to wear this yeah, all winter right. long. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to Summit Foot and Ankle for the sponsored interview. Thanks. Yeah.